Sound test. Check, check. One, two, three. Welcome one, welcome all to the second Let's Play of my channel. Yes, it has been quite some time, hasn't it? I think it's been over a year since I uh, posted my Dusk Let's Play or walkthrough, whichever the right term is. I, I swear people change it whenever they feel like it. But yes, Doom 64. Or rather, a version of Doom 64, which I will explain here in a few seconds, uh, once this intro sequence is finished. A lot of OG Doom 64 players are probably noticing that this sequence is running a little bit differently than it did back in 1997 on the OG hardware. Well, you would be correct in saying that. While this is technically Doom 64, it is not the OG Doom 64. I'm not playing it on, you know, a Nintendo 64. It is also not the standalone Doom 64 that was released on Steam uh, by id Software and Bethesda earlier this year on the same day as Doom Eternal. This is instead Doom 64 Retribution. Yes. So instead of being its own standalone executable, this is actually a WAD that is running on top of Doom 2. Um, I would get into the details of what wads are and how they work, but that would just stretch this video out way too long. But for all intents and purposes, this is Doom 64. There is a, a few differences. Um, you'll notice that the intro sequence ran differently. Certain things worked, um, run a little bit differently in this iteration, shall we say, of Doom 64. Oh, excuse me. Uh, for one thing, movement speed is definitely quicker. Um, weapon scrolling, I think, is also technically quicker. Um, but everything else, in terms of the sprites, the sounds, the tracks, um, as you hear right now, you can hear the dark ambient track playing in the background. Everything else is Doom 64. This just so happens to be a WAD version instead of a standalone executable or total conversion or what have you. So, this particular version of Retribution... <laughs> is version 1.5. Uh, this version was released back in November of 2018, so it is almost two years old. Uh, the author of the WAD, name is Navander. I think he has a YouTube channel as well, where he has kind of demonstrated this, like a kind of a trailer of sorts for it. I'm not sure if he's still technically working on this or not. Um, the campaigns, and yes, there are multiple ones, the map packs you see here, all these map packs here, well, not obviously those, but these levels, and then these levels, and these levels, these were all initially put into Absolution, but Navander found a way to migrate them over to uh, Retribution for the uh, for all the subsequent versions of Retribution that he released. I think there is one additional map pack in Absolution, which is a standalone Doom 64 total conversion, or TC, um, that is not here yet. Uh, if Navander is still working on this wad, maybe he'll migrate it over in a future version, say 1.6. Maybe not. I honestly don't know. I don't even know if he's still actively working on this or not, if he's got other projects he's working on. But there is a map pack in Absolution, I think, called The Reckoning. Doom 64, The Reckoning. Um, also, you'll notice that the, uh, for those of you who, ha who have played the re-release, the Steam release of Doom 64, The Lost Levels, which is the... Uh, level pack that links Doom 64 directly to Doom 2016 is not here either. That's because this came out before Doom uh, Eternal slash Doom 64 did. This came out in November of 2018. Doom Eternal and Doom 64 were released on Steam on March of 2020. I think March 20th of 2020. So, yeah, this, this right here predates those. But, that being said, we do have plenty of campaigns here to choose from. Uh, we have a Obviously, the vanilla Doom 64 maps. You have the bonus fun maps, which uh, on the OG hardware were only accessible via a cheat code or by using a features menu, which you unlock the same way. Um, you could either use a cheat code or you could beat the game and have it unlocked that way, and then you would just warp to them instantly. Uh, there's also some additional ones. Um, I think two others, including the title map, the one you just saw in the intro sequence. You can play that. And there's also a, I think it's called the Test Facility, which just has literally everything there. All the weapons, all the props, all the animations. There's even an arena where you can make enemies fight each other. That's in this too. Um, so I might go through those, I don't really know. But I, I plan on going through all the vanilla maps, obviously. 
Uh, the Absolution levels, of which there are six, five Standard and one Secret. The Outcast levels, of which there are ten, nine Standard and one Secret. And then lastly, Redemption Denied, which there are eight levels, no Secrets. They are all Standard levels. So I will be going through Doom 64's vanilla maps first. On the hardest difficult... Oh, wait a minute. What is all this? These two difficulties... These were not in the OG Doom 64. Well, you're right. These were not present in 1997's original Doom 64. These were difficulties added. I don't know if they were added into Absolution initially, and then, just like with the map packs, if Nevander just kind of migrated these as well over to Retribution, or if these were actually created by him for Retribution specifically. Um, I... I have played Absolution, but it's been a couple years. Pretty much since I found this version of Doom 64, I haven't even played Absolution again. I actually don't even have it downloaded on my current PC. I probably should just to kind of try it out, you know, see if I like it. But uh, in the OG Doom 64, you had these four difficulties. Uh, Be Gentle, Bring It On, I Own Doom, and Watch Me Die. Watch Me Die, of course, being the hardest. Uh, these two are so difficult, they come with their own waivers. Are you sure? This skill level isn't even remotely fair. And so that's for Hardcore, then for Doom Slayer, you have The forces of hell stand before you, stronger and fueled by hate. Can you defeat them? Yeah, sorry, this isn't Doom Eternal. I will stick with Watch Me Die, thank you very much. So, <clears throat> how this playthrough will go is I will be playing on this difficulty, Watch Me Die, or WMD, <laughs> which also, funnily enough, stands for Weapon of Mass Destruction. Um, and I will also be 100%ing every map, so I'll be getting all the kills, all the secrets, and even finding all the items. So this will be a WMD Max, or I think it's actually WMD Perfect, since I'm getting all the items as well. Um, but yes, I will be providing live commentary, unlike I did for Dusk. I finally have a means to do commentary effectively now, provided the audio recordings don't have crappy artifacts in them. I've never tried this before with this setup, so this may take several attempts. This is actually attempt number two, technically. The last uh, recording had bad artifacting. I'm hoping that was because it was a combination of my gain being too high and the mic being too close to me, but we'll see if this works out better. But anyway, watch me die, 100%. Let's get started. Oh boy, map 01 staging area. Boy, this image right here is burned into my head for the rest of my life. Let me tell you, I have played this so much, but I never get tired of it. Never have, never will. So, let's get to it. So we'll start by grabbing this Berserk pack here, which makes your melee attacks more powerful. I'm not going to be using it here because I don't think you can quite reach them through the fence. You can actually... Well, can you punch the fence? Oh, you can. Okay. Well, screw, screw the pistol. I'll just punch him. Well, there you go. I learned something new today. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention. I will be pistol starting every single map. Now, I don't think this part of the options menu is here normally. Uh, I actually Google searched uh, literally GZ Doom Pistol Start because I'm pretty sure the uh, source port that I'm using, which is GZ Doom, like I just said, does not have an always pistol start option by default. So what I did was I actually uh, found a PK3, which is a file extension that works with WADs and source ports, uh, which I believe is what put this menu option here in the first place. So I'll be pistol starting every single map, which means I'll be starting every map bare bones with just 100 health. Zero armor, uh, the pistol, and the unpowered up fist with 50 bullets, and that's it. The, literally the only thing that this pistol start PK3 does not take away from you are the demon keys, which power up the unmaker weapon in this game. But that is for a later time. For right now, let's get back to it, shall we? <clears throat> so I'm just going to grab the shotgun here, put this to immediate use. Retribution also adds some extra frames of animation, so the shotgun actually properly reloads now, as does the super shotgun, whereas in Doom 64, for one thing, you couldn't even see Doom Guy's hand grabbing the gun. It was just the gun by itself, and the gun would recoil a bit. You'd hear the reloading sound, and then would just straighten back out, and that was, that was it. So, maybe that was just a limitation of the... Oh! <clears throat> that hurt. Maybe that was just a limitation of the Doom 64 uh, hardware, you know, the N Nintendo 64. That's my guess, anyway. I'll stick with it. Alright, let's not have the shotgun guy blow my face off. He almost did there. Go in here, clear up these zombie men. Secret number one, just open this. Nothing fancy here. No need to press a switch and run to a different room like there, like is the case with several other secrets. That is as simple as can be. Oh, 
So I'm really glad about finally, I know it's been a long time coming, finally getting to doing another Let's Play on my channel. I have been wanting to try live commentary for a while. I'm not the best at it by any means, as you can probably already tell. Uh, secret number two, by the way. So, <clears throat> quick note, normally these, um, if you were to find a secret door amongst, like, say, a wall, like here, normally the textures would be misaligned or just be totally different. But in this case, that's not the not the case. See this little pile of blood here, this blood sprite? That's the clue. Weird, I know. So go through there. All it does is it raises up those light fixtures and spawns in two zombie men. I think also this box of bullets, which I don't need. So we'll uh, keep going. All the way to this here elevator. You know what? I'm feeling a little feeling a little punchy. Let's punch. You want some punch? I'm sure you want some punch. Punch is good for you. You have some punch. You get some punch. You especially get some punch. And now all you guys just get dessert dessert. I actually didn't mean to flip that switch just yet. I might actually turn down the game volume a little bit. Flip that switch, turn back here, get the blue key. And secret number three is up here as well. Remember what I was just talking about, about the misaligned textures, the different textures? Not to mention the uh, very obvious glowing blue light. Secret number three, a mega armor. Oh yes. 200 armor, just like that. Always a pleasure. Deal with these here zombie men. Got these zombie men in the cage here, or cages, I should say. Take out those shotgun guys there. Secret number four. Jump inside here, go down this here elevator, back up. Supercharge. Secret number four. Alright. So now that we have all the secrets, let's get the kills and items, shall we? Don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling like a regular old pugilist again all of a sudden. Let's treat these demons to some punch. Want some punch? Here. Punchy, punchy. You know you like it. Get some of that Doomguy Southpaw action. I will say, Doomguy has a better Southpaw than me. Alright. Go this way. Pick up the zombie man here. And let's go down this elevator right here. Get all these health bonuses. This one. Just gonna go through here, through this door, for another swarm of pinkies. Demons, pinkies, both names are accurate. Just use whatever one you like. I will say, even powered up, the Berserk does have a fair bit of RNG associated with it. Like, you'll see sometimes the demons are killed with a single punch. Sometimes they'll take as much as three. Um, yeah, that's just... That's just par for the course. Just gotta deal with it. One last kill, right through here. Aw, oh, didn't jib him. Oh well. Let's leave. Alright, and that is map number one. Staging area. Decent enough map. A typical starter map, nothing too difficult, nothing too confusing. Which is, you know, par for the course for starting maps. So, yeah. That's basically how this playthrough is going to go. It's going to be live commentary, uh, finding all the secrets, all the items, all the kills, and that is that. So, until next time, guys, uh, I will... <laughs> yeah, is it obvious enough yet that I'm new to this whole commentary thing? I'm having to come up with my own intro, my own outro, and it's, it's a work in progress. Okay, it's a, it's, it's a whip. It's a whip. Just bear with me. So for now, I'll just leave you with a bye-bye, and see you guys next time.